Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate blooming flowers like this in After Effects. Okay, so right now we are in After Effects and here the layers are all separated for this flower. So I'm going to select the stem layer and add a trim path. Go to add and add a trim path. And we're going to put keyframes on the end value. Now let's jump into another 20 frames and at the first frame we are going to give it complete zero. So for now let's hide the other branches of this leaves of this flower. Let's easy as the keyframes and we are going to give an ease over here like this and decrease the ease at the start. Alright, now we are going to go to the path property and select the path property and control C to copy the path property and we are going to paste it over here in the position property and it is going to add a position over here with respect to that path you can see the, the motion path over here. Okay, so we are going to reposition it. So let's just retime the position and we are going to reposition this flower over here. Alright, now we are going to select this set of keyframes and we are going to use the ease copy plugin to copy the motion graph and we are going to paste it in this set of keyframes. I think we can slow it down a bit. Now we can turn on the auto orient option as well. Or rather, I would like to add rotation manually for this one. So here it is going to rotate, rotate and here it is going to completely get to the final position. Again, we're going to add the ease copy keyframe over here. Now here we can add some in between keyframes. Now let's check out. All right. Now we can even add some scale animation as well. So open the scale property of this flower and add some keyframes. And here we are going to scale it down somewhat like this. Not completely, maybe around 35%. And we are going to copy the ease of this motion graph. Now we are going to add some more detailing to this flower. So let's get inside this flower composition and we are even going to animate the shape path property of each of these shapes. So open the shape path and we are going to put keyframes on all of this path property. And make sure to make the timing and adjust it till this point. So at the initial frames, we have to morph the shapes such that it actually looks like a flower bud. Okay, so now let's check out the animation. Now we can slightly delay the animation of the flower blossom. Let's start it from somewhere around here. And here we can even adjust the stroke as well. So we're going to slightly decrease the stroke width at the start, maybe around eight. Alright, so we're going to again do the same for these other branches. So when it reaches somewhat like this, uh, it is going to start growing. Then when it reaches, when the path reaches or crosses this point, it is going to start growing from here and then from here. So 
So I'm going to follow the same process. Let's add a trim path and put keyframes on end value. I'm even going to add some keyframes on the stroke width as well. And after that, we are going to add this flower to composition over here. So we are going to duplicate it in the project panel and add it over here. And then we are going to copy the path and paste it over here in the position property. Let's add some rotation keyframes. And we're going to rotate it over here. Let's paste the ease and we're going to add some additional rotation keyframe over here. Okay, so let's change the timing of this blossom. So let's start the blossom from somewhere around here. Here we're taking some extra few frames as well and also we are going to add some scale keyframes. So at the start we are going to decrease the ease like this. Or let's paste the ease over here. At this point maybe we can add some keyframes on scale, slightly scale it up. So after the blossom animation is complete, I added some overshoot to it. So for that I have added few pins and then converted the pins into bone layers. After that I have added few rotation keyframes on the bones and offset the keyframes to add some follow through. Okay, so like this you can animate blooming flowers in After Effects. And I have followed the same process to animate the other flowers blooming in this scene. And if you want to learn how to animate the waving tree in After Effects, like the ones in this background, then you can check out my other tutorials on it. I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also, if you want to learn how to add green texture effect in After Effects, then you can check out my other tutorials. I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then. Goodbye.